I've gone from being the most disgusting person she knows oh. to one of cuddle. Ooh. Wine break. Ah. Good morning. So I'm starting the week off on my own. Danny and Uncle Gary join me tomorrow for some stud wall plywood cutting and finishing the bed frame off. I'm going to rip the 18 mil plywood down today which is going to be the lid I'm going to cut that down whilst there's not too many of us in here because it's quite a small space and then shuffle yeah have a bit of a shuffle round it's not too cold today luckily the log burner's in as you seen last week but I'm going to have the doors open so there's not much point lighting it unfortunately as much as I'd love to just sit in front of the fire and have a cup of coffee or well, a few cups of coffee but <laughs> filming is definitely a bit more challenging than it used to be with the stuff all that. <laughs> Less than an hour into the day and I bumped my head already. Give me such a better idea of what space we're going to have in the bedroom minus these eight by four sheets decent walkway cupboards going here next i had a little shuffle round but i think i'm going to need the boss's opinion on what we're doing with the washing machine stand because basically we've got some steps that gary's made to go in and you obviously want access to the wash machine. Steps are coming out to here, so you need to raise it up. But I want to know by how much Danny wants it, because otherwise I'd be in trouble. So we'll leave that till tomorrow. I'm going to crack on with a couple of bits in the engine bay. So I didn't film this last week, but that's what burnt the drill out. I did that one, which is for the exhaust, and that's going to be air inlet. I'm just going to finish off drilling through from the other side. First up is the exhaust outlet, which I already drilled a hole through, which is good. So I'm going to use some high temperature silicone. Bolt's gonna wait until Danny can give me a hand tomorrow. Now I'm gonna fit the inlet. That one. I've got to draw holes for that. <laughs> the reason I don't mind using white is because. You can paint over it, which I intend to do. 
I don't know if you can see a lot, but I need to sort out a, a fuel outlet from the tank to the diesel heater. There's an existing hole on the top of the tank here. Let's see if I can take it out and if I'll be able to use it. I've also got one to try here. That's not coming out of there. It's just spinning. Um, I guess the other option is to put some hose on it and see if any fuel comes out. Oh. It's pressure. I reckon if I did, I could get that. Quite confident that that reaches the bottom of the tank. So we'll try it with that first. bit fresh today got uncle gary joining me shortly and then danny's going to join me this afternoon i'm going to wait for gary to get here and then shoot up to the cafe and get a couple of nice warm coffees burners on for the second burn i think it's still going to be settling in so i'm going to go fairly sensible with it for the time being whilst i'm waiting for gary i'm just going to pop some insulation around this before i forget This is the duct in for the diesel heater. That should stop too much heat being wasted in the bend and then save all the heat to then run along the wall like a radiator and then vent out in the bathroom and bedroom. I can use that in the pipe that's exposed in the engine bay as well. I'm going to hopefully fit the diesel heater today or at least partly until we've rigged up the electrics. I was messed about last night with it with all the wiring harness and the ins and outs of how it works. All right, Gary's been bribed with a coffee. Is that all you need? A coffee and some plywood you're happy to go? Coffee, Danish, <laughs> always good in the world. <laughs> well, Gary's tackling some plywood for us. I'm going to have a go at the diesel heater. So hard to film in it, but the main of it is in. I need to do the fuel pump right about up somewhere. Connect that line up and then run the cables. Right, the fuel line's connected. Fuel pump. Need to put some clips in to secure the hose. Now I'm going to run. The cables from here along here and some conduit into the inside. Good morning. It's not morning now. Good afternoon. I am back from a night shift. Just come, all of the plywood is cut for the walls. I'm gonna hopefully paint them a bit later on. And uh, now, Gary and Joe are I'm figuring out quite, quite far back here, the, back. Yeah. the hinges in order for us to be able to lift up the bed and the mattress so for storage underneath. You've got them on that side, yeah. yeah. Mate, that's it. So screw it to the top of that flush with the top. Um, we might have to 
Yeah, put some more timbers in there. That's fine. One, two, three. Watch out my foot. <laughs> oh, I thought you cut that already. <laughs> no, no, no. Just an odd bit of timber. Um, what's the easiest? Probably easier if you screw one big bit in, would it? Probably right the way through. Yeah. 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 Have to be. Um, the thing you have uh, got to be the. Oh, you haven't got any base. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have. Yeah, you have. Yeah, that's fine. Look all those bits you've got again. Are we going to use all them? What's that? These? I uh, might do one of the cupboards down there and that. Oh, no, it's taken back, if not. Like investing in timber prices at the minute. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You probably made about six grand yeah. on this bit, sir. <laughs> the way it's gone up. Um, oh, that's fine. <coughs> strange. Um, Do you know, I think we'll do it like that, just put a bit of timber on the angle. So Gary's very kindly um, put the hinges on the bed. Now we've run out of washers, but Gary's just gonna look in his car in order to be able to put this on because we've got some quite big holes. But now the bed will lift like this and then we'll have maximum storage. We were thinking of doing drawers and stuff, but I think this is a better idea for us. We've got another one more crap. Just... Oh. There's the washers. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah. Well, take the cramps off and let's lift it up, see what happens. We're going to push it back tight and see how it reacts to the back wall. Just push it as tight yeah. as it's got to go. Let's see, Just see what see what happens. Come on, this. Cool. Woo! Oh, it's catching on the back. Is it? Yeah, it's here, mate. Yeah, it is. Oh, what? Um, the actual. Oh, I've got you. Um. Yeah, I guess this should have gone back further. Uh, 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 uh. Only on that. Um. No, I should say it'd be the same boat. Does it? But I'm wondering, does it? How high are the rat thing? Pass me the two gas struts. Good morning. We are sat in front of our lovely toasty fire. Um, we're going to be working in the bedroom today. I'm going to be painting, but first we need to make sure we're not going to make any more mess. So we're going to drill the holes on the top of the ply in order to the, for the mattress to be able to yeah. breathe. breathe. Um, and to make it a bit lighter because it's quite heavy at the minute. Yeah. And then we're going to put the plywood up that Gary kindly cut for us. I'm just going to rig up the lights so we can see what we're doing. It's a bit dark today. It's supposed to rain, oh, it absolutely chucked it down earlier, but then the sun came out, seen a couple of rainbows, and then it started raining again. Lots of holes. 33. 33 holes to drill now. I can put a mask on. Oh no, I didn't check. What? Ooh. Oh no. Oh, God, I'm gonna work on the corners. Maybe we just don't do the corner ones. Pattern still stays the same, just yeah. don't do the edge ones. The things are right here. <laughs> I, I was checking down here, I thought, oh yeah, it's fine. Oh. Yeah? At least you've drawn them on. So don't do these. Edges. 27 holes. You said 33 holes and now you've gone to 20. Oh yeah. Taking six away. <laughs> Maths. Maths over. Okay. Right. Mask. running out of batteries thick and fast so we have to fire the little generator up and put a battery charger on let the drill cool down a bit and then probably have some lunch whilst we've got the generator on i'm going to use the nail gun 
tack up the panels that Gary really kindly cut for us. He layered them as well. Somewhere. Something else. He layered them for us as well. Yeah, I don't think it works for generator. Yeah, I don't know the generator. Oh dear. Not powerful enough. Yeah. Is it because you're charging stuff as well? It says it's only 50 watts, I think. The generator is nearly 700. We did the clad in before we yeah. left the marina. Oh. <laughs> um, That's annoying. Let's take the charger off now. We figure it's only go. I made us lunch anyway. It's so warm in here now. It's lovely to have a hoodie off. I have made us kimchi rice with a fried egg. gone from being the most disgusting person she knows <gasps> to one and cuddle. His beard goes the whole way around his face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mum? <laughs> right, come on, you've got some oh. sanding to do. We need to stick this button. So the plan was to go home a bit earlier today because there was a local Christmas market but that's been cancelled because of the weather. So we've been to the shop, grabbed some snacks, grabbed the nails that we needed and a bit of metal trim and we're going to carry on working a bit later. Got beer as well. We've got a little ginger shot to liven us up a bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, it's really hard to open one, one hand. This is for ten. For what? You can't really see dip. it. Dark. The dips. Four dips. It's divided by ten on the calorie thing. For two, really. Mm. Okay. I was expecting it to be fizzy for some reason. 100% juice, not from concentrate. It's quite nice. Apple, ginger, lemon. Oh, it's cold. Apple, ginger and lemon. Cheers. Oh. Mmm. How much was this? 99p. Oh. 
So the plan is to flip this back up and then Danny's going to stain the top whilst I fit these because we've got the right. Because we've got the right nails now. Good afternoon everybody, we had a bit of a relaxing morning, sorry we lost you yesterday, it's just, I don't think we really did much, Joe's connected the other lights, um, oh and he done the other side of the panelling, so the studs are up the studs. on that side, now there's a lot of stuff in here but it's going to be a lot more difficult now, from now on to film when we're in smaller spaces but that's part of the fun, so today we are going to be getting these walls prepped in order to paint them. So now we've got another... Um, Patris box. What are they called? Patris. Patris box for this. And it all works. So do that, sand them, fill them, and then let paint them dry. white. Let yeah, it dry, let it dry. Then sand again. Yeah, then paint them white, and then we can start doing a bit more funky colours. People are putting in the comments, are we keeping it all white? And the answer is absolutely not. I don't know if you've... Well, you obviously haven't met me, but we're not having this white. <laughs> and also, it's our seven year anniversary today. Happy anniversary, babe. Who needs a medal? Me or Danny? <laughs> I think I need the medal. <laughs> but as a medal for me, I bought a bottle of wine. It's a grape that I've seen Fred Sirio from Gordon, Gino and Fred and First Dates, is Gino Yeah. From? He posted about this rare grape that only comes from Puglia years ago and I've been trying to find a bottle for ages, even through Italy and went to... Like you've been to wine merchants wine in Wine merchants country. in this country that no one's got it. And then we went to Lidl yesterday to get a couple of snacks and <laughs> lo and behold... And it's in Trowbridge. Yeah. <laughs> Lidl Trowbridge. Tried all in across Italy for this but... Here we are. So we're going to open that up now. Have a glass. Have a glass? What, what? now? Yes, yeah, nearly four o'clock. Um, there's a corkscrew somewhere. What does it smell like? Red wine. <laughs> Palette on me, mind. Susu Maniello. We can all try that. Go on. Really, in, really <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Punch yourself. Right, right let's, let's let that breathe. Let's let that breathe by the fire. Not too by the fire. No, it's, it's been in the van overnight, so it's too cold. Lovely. Right. Um, Patris. Perfect. Wine break. Oh, do you want me to get Now. Yeah, please. 
Oh, it's heavy. Of course, heavier than normal. That's because I normally help you. Oh! Oh, come on. Right, so the weaker gas struts have arrived in the post. Oh! Oh, you are. <laughs> Not that heavy. That felt heavy. Look at that. Varnish I've layered on. <laughs> Oh, you are joking. No. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you drill the holes bigger? Probably not. They're going to be rather weak then. Oh. For God's sake. How hard is this? <laughs> the holes are too small. Uh, I might just drill them. No, that's going to make them weak, boo. That's not that big a gap. Right, I'm going to check now. I'm going to have a bed. I've had enough. Joe, move those things out of the way because they're going to... What things? The things on the top. Pick them up now, quick. What's for it? Oh. Oh. Put it down there. Oh. Look at my head. Oh, sorry. Again. Yeah. Oh. This is your last chance. Oh, God. 18 mil. Oh, he's heavy. What are you doing? It worked. What are you doing? They're not really on though, are they? No, I just want to test the pressure. Can I let go? No, don't let go yet. I think oh. it out. Yeah, it's fine. No, go. It's but fine. Yeah, but will it close? Oh, I don't know about that. Ooh. Oh. I should read the lift up now. <laughs> what are you going to do? Is that safe enough? I'm not sure. Definitely don't need 800. Is it? It is Newton, isn't it? Newton, yeah. Yeah. Physics. <laughs> so that's nice, isn't it? Take cool. a video for Uncle Gaz. As long as these don't pop off. They shouldn't do. So we haven't been that productive today, but it's our anniversary, so we'll use that excuse. We got some rice and I made a black, well, I was trying to use up, I was looking at recipes to use up the beetroot tops because that's about the only thing that successfully grew this year from us other than herbs. So I used them in something I made earlier, but to use the beetroot tops, I made a dal. I've seen that as a recipe. So we've got a black lentil and beetroot top dal. So we're gonna have that for dinner. So I'm gonna put some trims up on the edges here, a bit quadrant, and then Danny can paint white on top of them and a coat and then these two studs you can do, can't you? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna have a big old sort out because we need it. You need to put your hat in the wash. It's got a bit of rust on from the engine bay. One thing we're going to have to do when it's better weather or next season, should we call it, is paint underneath the deck. I forgot when we painted all the engine bay, we didn't actually paint underneath on the ceiling. I didn't forget. You just said, oh, I can't do that. Oh, yeah, I just couldn't really be bothered. Now I regret it because all the condensation builds up. I mean, I'm sure the condensation will build up anyway, but when the water drips down, it's rusty. Where's your line? Oh. 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 Feels like a really big saw for this little
so it looks like we overcooked it on filming this week. I've actually got two more days worth of footage to edit, which I'm going to pass on to next week's video because we're already at 30 minutes long. I don't want to bore you. So we'll see you next week. A special thank you to our patrons. Love you all. Bye. Did the kitten let you touch it? Yeah. It's smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's just so lovely. You right there, Joe? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's powerful, it's real, isn't it? I have more power, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I've got a ferret in there. 1.30, 29 or so. What's this? Put the power up. Ooh.